A new milestone. The United States has now surpassed the 3 million mark for confirmed coronavirus cases, and more than 131,000 people have died. This according to Johns Hopkins University. Hello, I'm Denise Koch. And I'm Nicole Baker. Governor Larry Hogan told a national audience that Maryland is one of the only 15 states that's handling this crisis better than others, but we are not out of the woods just yet. WJZ is live. Avadur Burnett has more from the governor and what he's doing, what he says people should be doing if they visited another state. Ava Joy. Well, ladies, good afternoon. If you've gone on vacation in another state, done business in another state, visited family in another state, health officials want for you to get tested once you get back at sites like this one here in Mandamon Mall. The, the governor is also saying Maryland has now tested 10% of its population. We're being very cautious and we're uh, paying a lot of attention to the numbers every single day. Governor Larry Hogan says Maryland is one of only 15 states on a steady decline for key COVID-19 numbers. Luckily, uh, so far we've been trending in a really good direction. We're, our, our numbers are about 86% down from our peak. An important part of the state's battle plan is testing. The governor said Maryland has hit a milestone. So far, 10% of its 6 million residents have gotten a test. In hard hit Prince George's County, they tweeted, you don't need an appointment, you don't need a doctor's note, you don't need cash or credit, you don't need to be feeling or showing symptoms. They just want for people to get tested. And new today, if you've been out of the state, when you come back, health officials are urging you to get a test. We found people in this line at Madalman Mall. One woman just came back from Miami. Yeah, it's a big deal, and I, I like that you get your results quick. Johns Hopkins closely watched ticker says the U.S. has now surpassed 3 million positive tests. Maryland has 70,861 confirmed cases. 3,149 people have died here. New preliminary research says the virus could linger in the air longer. A concern for doctors like Baltimore's health commissioner. So droplet really requires that there's some level of close contact between two people so that it's passed between folks, whereas aerosolized mean that it's actually kind of lingering in the air. So, you know, that could be more concerning. We spoke with the family here in the line at Mandamin Mall. They're waiting to get tested, and they told me that they're on their way to a Caribbean country, and that country would not let them in if they didn't have a negative test. We have their story coming up on WJZ at 5. Ava Joy Burnett for WJZ. All right, thank you, Ava Joy. Well, Governor Hogan today told the State Board of Elections to keep all polling places open for the general election in November despite the coronavirus pandemic. Hogan also instructed the state to send out absentee ballot application requests to all eligible voters. He says an effort needs to be made to promote absentee and early voting, as well as voting during off-peak hours. The April primary was delayed until June because of the pandemic. Some voters say their mail-in ballots didn't scan, and others say they never received one. 